Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Mystical Chain. Last time we completed Chapter 2, and now we are going to go on to Chapter 3. We are going somewhere a little different this time. We are going to the Netherworld. And now this first battle introduced us to a fairy type that I do not like. This is the one I was talking about earlier, the one where you attack from behind, but uh, you attack from you can only attack from behind. This one is considerably more annoying. For one, it has a spirit that follows it around, which can go after and hurt you. That's basically how it, it attacks you, because the fairy itself will just laugh at you and teleport all around. And as far as I know, you, as far as I know. I don't think you can kill the spirits, because every time I attacked it, I noticed that its health will regen once you leave it alone. So I guess it's just easier to go after the fairy, annoying as they may be. Come here. There. Well, that wasn't too difficult for a first battle, but they get more annoying. I don't know. I just never really liked this enemy in this game. And we're in, and this one introduces us to yet another new fluff ball or FOE. It's like I don't know how to describe it other than it's more heavy. It can do a bit more damage, and it, like it just jumped there. It seems to be like really heavy. Kind of weird, but and it can also turn when it's on an angle, it can turn uh, turn into a spike ball and roll its way down. It also takes a lot more hits to actually kill it. Yeah, I really don't know how else to describe it, but we're gonna go after it last. Take care of the fairies and the uh, the fairy and the fire breathing one first. Oh, we got that one caught up in it. Yeah. That was close. Could have gotten hit, did it? And I've never pulled that off before. That is different. Laser you. Smack you with a broom and laser you. There we go. Once you're taking a bit of damage, that wasn't too bad, I suppose. I guess we're using patchouli a bit more. I'm gonna have to fix that a bit, I guess. And look, the fairy's back. And you get to see, whoop. How did I not get hit? But oh well, it's in the corner. Let's just take care of it. Get it out of the way now. Ow. Okay, well that's one... Well, that one isn't as annoying as the fairy, I, in my opinion, but still good to get him out of the way first, I suppose. Get out of there, you spirit of the, f spirit of the fairy or what have you. Yeah, you teleport away. I'm going after you last. Take care of this guy just so he won't spit fire at us again. There we go. Best fairy next. Other blue fairy next. Bubble. Ice. I keep accidentally pulling it off, to be honest. I don't really know... If Oh, it keeps happening. Okay, now for you. Yeah, yeah, you teleport. Take that. I smack you. Come back here. Really? Ugh. Stop laughing. You're not funny. Not gonna be able to 
be laughing when I destroy you. Why do you keep laughing at me? Yes, I know I'm not the greatest Toho player here, but you don't need to keep laughing about it. Come here. Let's see. How did I miss? How is that possible? Ugh, take that, you stupid fairy. There we go. That wasn't too difficult. Who am I kidding? That was annoying. Didn't do so well time-wise, but whatever. Oh, of course, it has to bring back another one. Okay, let's get you first since you're down here. Easy enough to take care of. I thought I killed him. Whoa, ow. Okay, two of them. Get him, get him, get him. There we go. Not bad. Okay, now combination of the fire breathing ones and the red ones. Fairy, quit laughing at me. I'm still going after you last. Did you quit laughing? I don't know what you're laughing about when I'm killing your buddies. Or maybe that's why you're laughing. I don't know. Get away. Okay, now you guys. Ow. Come on. There we go. And you get away. Seriously, I don't like you. I was doing not bad on that... Uh, attacking that fairy there. And now, getting back to attacking. Uh, you know what, you stupid spirit. Don't know why I said... Okay. Marissa heal, and I'll let Patchouli take care of this. Will you quit teleporting and let me hit you? Ow. Uh, come on. Come on, let me hit you. Don't hit me! I swear you... S the bubble doesn't even work on it? There we go! Finally we hit it! wonder why the bubble doesn't work on it. Come on. You are getting on my nerves. You're already on my nerves. You're now getting more on my nerves. There we go. You're kidding. I have to deal with... How many spirits are there? Five? And a fairy? You know what? Spell card you. What? What? That didn't even take it out? Okay, fine. No more Miss Nice Guy. Nice girl. Whatever. Get over here. I want to take you out. It's the last thing I do. Come here. There. We got you by... L okay, so Patchouli's spell card didn't take it out, but Marissa's late considerably weaker laser did. Okay, game. And at least we took care of that. And now, for the boss battle. Who better suited for the netherworld than Yuyuko? 
and her gardener. For the most part, this battle is not bad either. It's actually kind of fun as well. You're mostly going to be fighting Yomu though. Yuko doesn't show up until the last two spell cards. For the first one, um, Yomu will use her uh, spear, her phantom half to uh, shoot at you, and then she'll slice across the stage. You can't really attack her here, as far as I know, because of the slash that remains on the screen. Gotta wait till the second time she does it, and then attack. Wow. I didn't expect to take her out on the first one, but... Or, like, on the first try. But now, uh, for this spell card, the camera zooms in, and uh, it'll focus sort of on you and Yomu, and she will attack like that, and you gotta uh, just dodge out of the way and wait for an opening to uh, where she's not slashing to get her. She can do multiple hits, and it can be it can be pretty painful. Just gotta keep going out of the way. Ah, e Ow. Yep, that was not good. Okay, then she got her before she sliced me there. That's good. How did she get me when she was facing the other direction? Okay, ow. I was thinking I was doing okay on this spell card too, but I guess not. Okay, I'll set her at ambush just so she heals faster. Oh dear, I'm going to need to switch right away. There we go. Okay, I'm going to have to let Patchouli heal up and this spell card, your base, basically uh, Yomu will just keep slashing at you while Yuko will send out butterflies on the stage to attack, uh, to uh, basically just obstacles on the stage and like sp and spirits as shown right there. Still not that terribly hard, but can be kind of annoying. You can, as far as I know, you cannot attack Yuko. You can like, you can attack them uh, while they are attacking uh, to deal a bit of damage, but it won't do much. You're better off just attacking Yomu. Yeesh, that hurt. Okay, okay. Ow. That hurt. I'm gonna need to swap off. I don't know why I ran into her there. Get her, Marissa! Laser! In right into the butterflies. Okay. Jump, man! I gotta learn to jump! There we go. For this final spell card, it'll just be Yuko. Yomu's knocked out now. As far as I know, you can't attack Yuyuko like this, I don't think. I don't think there will be any point where it goes like attack or something like that. We'll have to see anyway, but... I'm doing okay dodging so far, but... Seriously, is nothing like going to happen? Am I just going to have to... Ow. Okay, I need Marissa to heal up. Uh, well, I can do some damage. Okay, you know what? Let's try this. That took her out, like, no problem. Okay. But, well, we completed Chapter 3. So, uh, with that, I still don't understand why they made Yu Yu Ko like that, but I guess kind of interesting. But with that, we have completed Chapter 3. I will see you next time on Chapter 4.